Hi, this is Mr. Dang. In this video, I'll be showing you multiplayer mechanics in Power Apps. This is a tic-tac-toe game that I was inspired by Daniel Christian uh, to build a multiplayer version of my own. One player hosts the game, and another player can join it. Right now, the players are waiting every 10 seconds for the data sources to reload. Player 2 can join player 1's game. Player 1 is waiting for it to uh, refresh on his side. Now what I'm doing here is I'm reducing the 10 second reload time to just 1 second for the sake of this video. You'll see that it flickers a lot because the gallery that's used here uh, reloads the data live. So you can play the tic-tac-toe game. Um, I decided to go with a gallery version. Uh, rather than individual buttons, um, but you'll see that it has the cost of just flickering if uh, you set the reload too fast. This game is going to end in a draw, so that you can see the draw uh, the draw conditions recognized. You can continue with the same player with the next round. The host is in control of uh, creating the game board. Uh, and the second player uh, just receives the information. In next sequence, you'll see one of the players actually winning. Uh, the conditions will apply to both screens. Right now, the data is stored in a co in the common data service. Uh, I previously tried Google, and I tried uh, Dropbox, an Excel file in Dropbox, uh, but neither of them were fast enough to pull off something like multiplayer um, in a data source. Right now I'm working on simplifying the mechanics of the multiplayer. There are a lot of conditions that are uh, going to be different for tic-tac-toe and any other game. Uh, but once I have that all polished up, I'll push it out to the public. Thank you for watching.